My weapon of choice is a hair dryer. <laughs> I'm here today to warn you about this car and any other Tesla that is vision only because without indicators and the sensors that have historically been in this car, you very well likely may hit a pole like this, which is exactly what my wife did. Welcome to another episode of Out of Spec Dave where I am going to attempt to fix my wife's bumper because it's just a tiny little dent and I figure if I mess it up, I gotta fix I gotta take it to a body shop anyway. And I've been a lot of people have been telling me, Dave, if you get a heat gun, perhaps from the inside, you should be able to just push it back into it's a very tiny little thing. So I'm gonna give it a shot and uh uh Dave fix it time. Let's go for it, right? Why not? I, I definitely would not advise me to quit my day job as far as doing body work. But, uh, you know, what do I have to lose here for doing this? Because we were going to take it in and have the bumper replaced. And then a couple of you said maybe take a heat gun to it, see if you can massage it out. All right, so first things first, I just unloosened this top piece. This is really easy. You just take this off and you put that to the side. All right. Then you've got four bolts. One, two three, four, right there. And then there's this little clip right here. It's like, a, you just gotta pop that out. And then supposedly you're able to get this whole, this whole front tubby thing right out. And what I'm trying to do is just, I wanna heat this up from the inside and just kind of push it down a little bit, maybe massage it a little bit. It's, it's ever so slightly and I'm giving this a shot. So let me get this, let me get this little uh, push pin thing out of there. And, and then we're gonna take this frunk out, this frunk puppy. All right, so you can see I've, I've taken this little, this little doohickey thing right out and popped it right out. Now, apparently this thing's gonna, this tub's just gonna come out. Let's see what happens. All right, so I'm ready to take this frunk right out of here. I think it's going to come out super easy, so we'll have to see. Bailey, what do you think? Is it going to come out easy? Huh? You want to help me? All right, we've got frunk puppy going on here. What do you think? Are you scared? Have you ever ridden in the frunk of a car before? <laughs> She's frozen, but she does want to help me. She's like, give me a screwdriver, Dad. All right, so I've got the four bolts out plus the little doohickey thingy. And watch this. Come on, baby. There we go. We've got frunk removal. Now, let's just see. There's a light under here that I need to remove. I don't know how that thing comes off there, but you know what I can do? I can probably just do it like this. Now, oh boy. Doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to get at the thing I need to get at without removing the whole bumper. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Uh, I may be able to just get it from the, from the outside, but. Uh, all right, so I put the tub back in because I do not want to take off this bumper. I think you need some pry tools over there, even though it looked like there were some screws running underneath where the uh, tub goes up against or lanes on top of. Uh, I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the heat right on the top. The, the thing is, it's, it's kind of pushed up right over here a little bit. And so I'm thinking if I can get that a little bit warm, not too hot, I may be able to just push it down and then hopefully this will just come right out and it will be back to normal. Again, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny little indentation there. Maybe you can't even see it there. Maybe you can see it a little bit. So let's give this a shot and heat this up. Not too much, not too little, just about the right amount. Let's give it a shot. My weapon of choice is a hair dryer. <laughs> I don't have a heat gun, but you know what? This is, in effect, a heat gun. I mean, 
Maybe not as hot as a heat gun is, but... Oh, I hear an electric car driving by. Must be a Nissan Leaf, one of my neighbors. Anyway, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to heat up this spot right here. And hopefully we're going to get it back. A little tiny indentation. Let's see what happens here. Right. Well, listen, I, I, I definitely worked it. Um, this line right here is, is straight now. It was indented before and it is, it is quite straight. And I don't see any, any indication of uh, damage there now. There is a tiny, I mean, for my eye, I can see right in here, just a little bit where, where the bump happened. But it is it is minor, very minor, uh, very minor. So we're gonna have to see if we want to live with that, or if she's gonna want to <laughs> pay a lot of money to have this bumper replaced. Uh, but this worked. I mean, this this definitely worked from the outside. What I was able to do is heat it up quite a bit, right? You know, in the spot right there with the with the hair dryer. And then what I did was I took a very soft rag and the, and the uh, hard end of, the, of this hammer and, and I, was, I just sort of worked it, um, you know, like just basically like this. Well, not quite like that, but you know what I mean. I just very gently worked it and, and it definitely made a big, uh, it's definitely a, a big help. Very, very minor now. Um, we're gonna live with this and see if that's good enough. If not, we'll fix it. This is just a quick video. I got to put this thing back together now. No big deal. Just pop it back on there. And uh, yeah, just tried my best here. I think I definitely made it better. It was interesting when I heated it up, the plastic sort of returned for the most part to uh, the original form, which was, which was nice. Didn't pop back out. What was interesting was it was raised on the top and indented here. Uh, so it like popped up, up the top, and then it was indented. And you can definitely see uh, that indentation is gone now. So that just went back to memory. And there's a tiny little, tiny little pop right there. I would say it got about 80, 85%, maybe not 90, 95, but about 80, 85% of the way there. The question is, will the missus live with it? Or is she gonna to wanna to part with, I don't know, 1500 bucks, two grand? You know, it's one of those things that if, it's, if it bothers you, it's not worth it. Just get it fixed the professional way. But at least I tried. Well, when I put the, the, the hood down, I had much better light on it and I can still see it. I don't know. It's definitely better, but I still see, I still see a little hump right here. And uh, I don't want to damage the paint anymore. I think I'm just gonna, we're either gonna live with it or we're gonna have to have it fixed and replace the bumper. I think we may have to replace this bumper. We'll see what, we'll see what Kathy says. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, you can't fault me for trying. Um, one thing I learned is you gotta have good lighting or different lighting around to see where the spots are. And as soon as I put that hood down and you can see I've got the, the bright light up there amateur mistake as soon as I put the hood down and had the light on it you could see it's not perfect the question is is it enough for the missus to say yeah I'll live with it or is it going to bother her every day if it bothers her every day it's something we'll fix but at least I tried so anyway thanks again for watching another episode of Out of Spec Dave